I really appreciate you doing this first yeah. off. And uh, I'd be remiss first off. I'm from Mayfield, Kentucky. I know you're a Murray State legend, so I got to get that right out the bat yes. right there, just talking about Murray and everything. Murray State probably was the best four years of my life. It was so much fun. First time I was a head coach. And with, without all the pressure of being like SEC, you'd probably have 35 reporters, 10 cameras every day after pra practice. Where Murray, there's only one. Right. But I tell you, we built that thing from the bottom and won two championships. Our students were phenomenal. Mike Strickland, our athletic director, was awesome. And then we recruited some great players who just loved one another, and it was it was a phenomenal time. You know, you, you had that family, small yeah. town type community, yes. and you know, kind of similar to what you know Newport is in terms of the small community, small yes. town, and you know, and I know this is special for you just because you yes. know, Logan Logan's going to be a head coach here. But you know, just what, what were those conversations like with Logan, and especially now, you know, yeah. that he's getting into the coaching industry? Well, I could tell he was excited. He didn't know if he was going to get it when I first talked to him, but he was excited about it. And it was a first time, you know, startup. And where, you know, he said, Uncle Houston, this, this is the very first time they're gonna play athletically. And we really think we could build something and build something really special. And so when you got Dr. Moore, you got the athletic director like Phillips, you got some people that are all bought in, you got some community that are buying in. I mean, it, it takes everybody, you know? It's not easy, but man, you got enough people that believe and that's when you achieve. Absolutely. Just, just how special is this for you? Because I mean, this is this is a family thing now, right? It's a family. That's why I'm here. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm having hip sur hip uh, replacement surgery next week. I wouldn't be here for nobody else. You know, unless it's family. I mean, Logan, he loves it. It's not a job to him, and he'll be a difference maker with uh, with young people. And uh, I just I just think it's going to be awesome. Absolutely. When it comes to pieces of advice, maybe that, mm -hmm. that you've given them, you know, just kind of, what are what are a couple of the biggest things yeah, that, maybe that you told them? I think the biggest thing is is you got to be yourself. And you you got to have a great plan of recruiting, development, and then it's the relationships. The relationship. He's been a good recruiter where he's been, but it's the development and relationships. And don't expect to do everything in one day. You're just now starting. It's brand new, one step at a time. It's real easy for a young coach. I was like that at Murray State. I want to do everything now. Can't do it every, everything in one day. One step at a time, but get close to your players and get them to play hard. I want to pick your brain about a couple of things college football related before I let you go. But, you know, obviously uh, going to be a big year for the state in a couple of years with Arkansas and Arkansas State uh, matching up in, in Little Rock. Just, yeah. you know, how big is that for, for the state? Well, that's going to be huge for the state. Uh, everybody's, a lot of people, especially Eastern Arkansas, have been calling for this game. Uh, more and more people want to keep money in the state, and that's what you do. And so it, it'll be exciting. Uh, Coach Broyles, my athletic director, was always against it because uh, he didn't want to ever – uh, have the chance of giving Arkansas State the chance to beat Arkansas and lose recruits. So he wanted to keep that one deal. So, but now I think it's good now because you, you're going out out of state to play some non-conference teams. Go ahead and play them. Absolutely. Yep. And, and then finally, you know, uh, rule, rule change today with, with, with college football. You know, the clock stopping yeah. on, or, or starting rather on first down still stopping. But just just want to get your thoughts on that. Uh, you know, they're trying to speed up the game a little bit. Yeah. I don't think it'll be. I don't think it'll be that big a significant deal. I think where they got to get a handle on things, though, to me, is the NIL. NIL and portal. I'm all for players getting money. I wanted them to have money, but it's 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 dividing the locker room when one player will make much much more. Say if I had Darren McFadden, he would make. There's no telling how many deals, and then you got a left tackle that won't have any, and he's blocking for him, and so that that creates. To me, a disruption of chemistry, and and uh, you're now you're starting to worry about deals instead of worry about lifting and throwing and catching. I don't like that part of it. Right. Especially, it seems like now nowadays it's more like a free agency yeah. in some ways. Too. No question, no question about it. It's free agent, although it's NFL. You're right. Absolutely. Well, anything else you want to add about today, or anything I might have forgotten? I just think it's special. I like what Dr. Moore's doing. His vision. Uh, it, it's just um, it's fun to watch, and they're building it from the bottom up, and so I can't wait to come see.